Hello YouTube and all who inhabit it, my name is Luke and today we are going to be playing one of the games that is both known as one of the best games of all time by a lot of people as well as one of the hardest games of all time by a lot of people. And that is Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know what Dark Souls is, it's essentially like this medieval based game where you have to try and uh relink the flame so essentially we're gonna hear all about the story uh but usually it's just dark souls but today we're playing prepare to die edition uh because that's just the dlc and that's what i have so essentially uh that's what we're gonna be doing for probably uh the next few videos so i really like dark souls in fact i've actually gotten into it a lot recently so we're just gonna start <laughs> Alright, so we have Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Let's go with New Game. So this is going to be sort of like a uh, kind of let's play kind of thing. Let's play tutorial because I already know a lot about Dark Souls 1. Uh, in fact, I'm playing through Dark Souls 3 currently in my own time, but you know. Okay, uh, name. Let's go with... I don't know. I'm just going to do... N B E X Y. Perfect. Enter. Okay. Um, uh, male class. Okay, so now we're gonna get into more of the let's play stuff. Or the tutorial stuff. So I always like to go with knight and then gift. You guys are gonna want the uh master key. That's definitely good. Uh physique. You wanna you wanna buff man. Uh this one looks good. Okay. Let's accept. This is our guy. Here we go. We are going to start playing Dark Souls. Alright, here's a cutscene. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords grew the heart as constants. The witches wound great firestorms. will fade, and only dark will remain.
Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Here we go, guys. So, essentially, if you didn't yes, get all that... Yes, indeed. Oh gosh, still talking. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land... The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. This is Dark Souls, so essentially, if you didn't get that cutscene, essentially, uh, at the birth of the world, there was only darkness, and dragons ruled over all. But then, there was fire, and there was light, and dark, and all that. So, essentially, there awakened three, or four souls, uh, which were Gwyn, uh, Nido, the Bed of Chaos, or, yeah, whatever, or the Witch of Isolith, sorry. Uh, as well as the Vert of Pygmy. And I don't know if I already said Gwyn. Um, but essentially, what... Essentially, what happened there was, uh... There were four souls, and each of those are what, what I had, had just named. And they challenged the dragons, they beat the dragons, and essentially they ascended as gods, and then humanity was born and all that. And now the gods are all dying. Uh, so, if the fire goes out then all the gods die so essentially our goal is to relink the fire and uh keep uh keep the gods going so let's begin let me pillage this corpse so essentially the guy up there his name is oscar he's going to be helping us through this place known as the uh the what's it called uh the undead asylum that's what it is so we're just gonna head in through here. See what awaits us. So uh, up above you'll see that we have stamina, which is the green bar, and health, which is the red bar. So I'm not sure if this guy's gonna attack me or not, but let's kill him anyway to get souls. Die. All right, um, that's only gonna give us 20 souls. Gosh, it feels so weird to be weak because I've already beaten this game before. Let's climb this ladder. Okay, here we are. Alright, so, first bonfire in the game. Bonfires are basically like save points. So, let's just rest here. So, every time that you rest at a bonfire, that's essentially where you're going to save. So, we're going to walk up to this door and we're going to open it. Now, once you open this door, you're just gonna, you're gonna want to run. Just, just, just run for the, the open gate that's over there. Because there's a big dude that follows you. See, that guy right there. We're gonna be fighting him soon. Uh, trust me. So, let's head down here. So, essentially, our first goal here, so, uh, second bonfire. Um, so, our first goal here is to make it out of the Undead Asylum. And to get to a place called Lordred. Or, 
Lorden, Lorden, I don't know who it is. Um, but essentially, that's what, what, what our goal is. So, this, this is Tower Knight Shield, or Tower Kite Shield. So, going to equip that real quick. Oh, wait, no, I did that wrong. My bad. Here we go. That's much better. So, I'm going to do this uh, and put my shield up so that this guy can't shoot me with his bow. So, I'm just going to walk up here. He's going to run away, and I'm going to grab the item right here, which I think is a broadsword. Yes. Let's do the broadsword, and here we go. to continue on and now we should be able to kill this guy up here so every time i swing my sword my stamina go do goes down a little bit every time i start running my stamina go goes down a bit and then every time i roll my stamina go goes down a bit so pretty much everything that you do your stamina goes down uh, so essentially what you're going to want to do up here is you're going to want to go up the steps but roll out of the way because there's a boulder and then this is oscar this is the guy that threw down that uh corpse that had all of the uh that, that had the key in it that essentially allowed us to oh, kill you you're no hollow if i could i'm done for i'll die soon no, i wish to ask something of you you and i were both undead regrettably i have but perhaps you can keep the truth there is an old saying in my thou who art undead art in thine exodus from the undead when thou ringeth the bell of awakening well now you know oh one more, th an Estus flask. Okay, so he just gave us uh, a thing called an Estus flask, which is essentially like a heal, uh, which is essentially like a healing item. So there's gonna be some enemies over here. Just get them down real quick. You should be able to kill these guys with two hits once you get your broadsword. Now, just get this guy real quick. Keep your bow up or your shield up. My bad. And this guy, who is uh, supposed to be hard for this area, we're gonna try and parry him. Come here. We're gonna try and do it again. That was a parry! Okay, so essentially this game is known to be extremely difficult. Um, but I have played through a lot of the games, so... I don't want to toot my own horn, but... I'd like to think I'm pretty good at it. Um, <laughs> I hope I don't do that and then instantly die. Uh, but we're just gonna get behind that guy, and... Oh, he has an Estus Blast! Alright, there he is. So you essentially just want to attack enemies while uh, they're down. Like, for example, when they're not attacking, or when anything like that happens. Essentially what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna jump off this ledge, and then attack so that we stab him in the head, which didn't actually work. But we just want to dodge his attacks and then hit him while he's down. So we're just gonna circle around him. So I would be doing better here, except for I didn't hit the head stab when I fell down, unfortunately. So it's gonna take a little bit longer than I had originally anticipated. Okay, that was not good on my part. But he's almost dead, so we should just be able to get him pretty soon. One more hit. Oh, what did, okay, there it is. And he's done. So there we go. Now, he's going to give us a pretty mediocre amount of souls, only like 400, I think it literally just did. Um, so, we're going to use the big pilgrim key on this big door. I'm going to get that out of the way. And then, we also got a humanity. I'll show you how those, uh, I'll show you guys how those work in just one moment. So, now we're going to walk up the these stairs. And then... There's a bird nest here. So this guy, or no, there's not a bird nest here. Sorry, my bad. All right, so we're gonna walk onto here. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran.
And now here we are. In a place known as Firelink Shrine. Okay. And Lord didn't level up bonfires and kindle them. So we're going to rest at this bonfire and we can level up. So essentially how the level up system is, is uh, you have vitality, attunement, endurance, strength, and so on and so forth. So vitality is health. Uh, attunement, we don't need to worry about that since I'm going to be doing a... Uh, I'm not going to be doing a magic build. Uh, then there's endurance, strength, and dexterity. So vitality, um, I'm going to up that first. And then I think I'll go with endurance. There, that's good. Okay, so we leveled up uh, our health once and our endurance once. Or our health twice and our endurance once. So we're just going to look around here for a little bit. What do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Indeed, good sir. There's no salvation. Oh, well, since you're here, let me have their arm. Act one is up above in the undead church. So that's our new goal. We have to get to the undead church. So we have to get to this thing called the Bell of Awakening, uh, which is in this place called the Undead Church. So we have to beat something, and then we fight, or th then we ring the bell. All right, there's one down. Then I'm gonna try and get a backstab here. No, I'm not. How is he not dead? His health is literally non-existent. All right, so I'm gonna try and lure this guy over here because there's a guy up there who has these things called fire bombs, which are quite literally fire bombs. So I'm gonna see if I can lure this guy over. Yes, yeah, see that that hurts. That hurts. And there's gonna be a rat right here. We're just gonna kill him. And then there's another item. Soul of Lost Undead. Okay. Here we are. This is called the Undead Burg. It's essentially an undead city. So, it's quite annoying when you first start out, but you'll quickly find that you can get pretty overpowered pretty fast. Alright, here we are. We're just gonna head up these stairs and into this room. You don't really have to worry about anything else currently. That's a dragon. I completely forgot about that. Okay, that's thankfully just gonna go up there. Uh, gorgeous view, you know, standard beginning Dark Souls messages. I'm gonna get the guys up here, I'm gonna rest at the bonfire, and then I'm going to go and get a bow to show, uh, just for later. I want to show you guys how to get a quite overpowered, uh, starting game weapon. It's known as the Drake Sword. Uh, some Dark Souls veterans probably already know what this is, uh, but first we're gonna rest at this bonfire. Now, we would just go up these stairs, but unfortunately, they are broken. So, we have to somehow figure out how to get up there to kick down that ladder. And then, uh, we should be able to progress further. Alright, now, these guys are obviously a lot tougher if they're in bulk like this. So, I'm gonna try and get the attention of just one guy. Get him to come over here. And then, hopefully, I can just get him, uh, one at a time. So... Just gonna wait for this guy to come over here. And I'm gonna loop behind him. So we're gonna head down these sta stairs by rolling into the barrels. I'm gonna go down here. Uh, let's see, what is... Oh, forgot about that guy. Alright, let's see if we can get a backstab on him. We have to get more on the back. No. Alright, yeah, it's kind of hard to get backstabs early on. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head on into here. Okay, so essentially, uh, we do have a good amount of souls, so we're just going to go up to this merchant. And we're going to purchase an item. Okay, um, we're going to go to key items <laughs> and buy the residence key. The item, or in the... Weapon section, go down until you see the short bow. So you're gonna buy this for 1,000 souls. And then over here, uh, let's see, how much do standard errors cost? I can buy 14 of these. I don't think that that's gonna be enough. So let's see if we can get wooden arrows instead. That's 48. Hopefully that will be enough. Thank you kindly. So let's continue on this way. So we're not going to be using those for a little bit longer, um, but it's good to be prepared. So, 
just gonna try and get past these guys. Because I don't really feel like dealing with them at this point in time. And we are going to head in this direction. And there are going to be some more people with fire bombs around here. So we're going to go for that guy first. Uh, we're actually going to be coming up on our uh, second boss fight pretty soon. So. Alright, now that, that final guy is dead, uh, we're not going to be going down there quite yet. Because there is a really strong dude down there known as a Black Knight. So we're not going to be heading down there quite yet because I'm under leveled for there. Um, oh shoot, I forgot about that. Um, but we will be going to, down there in the near future once we re revisit this place. Alright, got him before he could heal. That's good. Alright, um, I think that they're... I'm just going to open this door. We don't really need to go in there yet because there is a very hard enemy down there known as Havel the Rock. Um... So we're not going to go down there quite yet because, again, I'm very underleveled for a place like that. But, essentially, we're just going to go up here and there's a boss up here. So, typically, bosses are notated with these fog doors. Sometimes the fog doors don't lead to the bosses, though. Um, but, in this case, it does. So, the first thing, before you continue on, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go over here and climb up this ladder. And you're going to want to kill all of the guys up here before you fight the boss. So I'm just gonna get one more hit on this guy, or two. Light crossbow. Crossbows aren't too useful. They're very inaccurate and you can't really use a scope, so I wouldn't really worry about crossbows. Unfortunately, it takes, can you? No, I don't think that you can go down ladders quickly. Um, I know that you can't go up them quickly. So essentially to activate this boss battle, we're just going to walk forward on this bridge. And there should be a minotaur. Yep, right there. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to run back and get to the ladder. So this bo boss is quite simple. We want to get up here and then drink. And then while he's down there, jump and do a down attack. And that's going to do quite a bit of health to him. Then we're going to want to run away. So that he doesn't catch up to us. So we run like this and then wait for him to come up here. And then we want to dodge his attack. And then keep running for the ladder. So the only way to do damage to him... or I'm not actually sure if this is the only way to do damage to him. But the most effective way to do stuff here is to do the method that I'm showing you right here. And stab. There it is. Second boss battle completed. Victory achieved. Let's go. Okay. Um, let's see. How many souls is that? Uh, humanity and homeward wound. 3,000 souls. Okay, not too shabby. And here we are on the dragon bridge. So, uh, we can't open that door yet, but we're going to need to soon. Or, am I even going the right way? I'm not sure if I am or not. Alright, I think that what I need to do is get to there, maybe? If I'm remembering correctly? Yeah, I think that we need to get right over there. So, I'm going to try and run past the dragon that's going to land here. And get down on that railing. Yep, there it is. Okay, we survived, thankfully. We're just gonna head down here. Alright, good. So, we stayed alive, and now what we want to do is we want to head down to here. And kick the ladder. And now, we can just go down this ladder. I feel like there's definitely a way to do that. Whatever. Um, and now, we have a shortcut to better places, uh, and now we can progress through the game. No, I don't want a two-hand. All right, now we're gonna head back up here. And I'm going to show you guys how to get um, a pretty good weapon pretty early on in the game, known as the Drake Sword. Um, actually, I might have to level up. Let's see here. Do I need to level up to equip this? No, I don't. Okay, that's good. Oh wait, yes, I do. 
Uh, what do I need? What does it say? Right here. Uh, I need 12 dexterity. Two dexterity, and then we can level up some more. So let's go for endurance, strength, and one more in vitality. There we go. Okay. So let's continue up. So now what you want to do is you want to head up through here, and now we are underneath the dragon bridge. There are going to be a few people over here. There's one guy in here. So now we're going to go to our arrow slot and do the wooden arrows, and hopefully we have enough to destroy the dragon's tail. So essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back here, right about here. And you're going to want to charge your bow up. Hit the button that you would hit to do the shield to zoom in. And then right when you can do the tail. You just want to, you're just going to want to keep hitting the tail over and over again. And just like that, we get an item known as the Drake Sword. So I had about, I think, 48 arrows. And now I'm at 19, so you guys can do the math there. Um, but essentially... We just got this weapon known as the Drake Sword by essentially cutting off the dragon's tail. So, the Drake Sword starts off as 200. That's funny. I thought that it was 300, but whatever. Um, let's see. There is insufficient stuff to wield it. So, let's see. What do we need to wield it? 16 strength. I currently have 12. So, looks like we're going to need to do some leveling up. I think I'm going to demonstrate what a humanity does right now. So I'm going to head back to the bonfire, and uh, I'm going to show you guys what humanities do, as well as a great farming technique when you're in this area. So I believe that we rested at the bonfire. So here's the farming technique. So essentially, you walk up these stairs, let the dragon see you, then get down. And then essentially that dragon kills all of the undead, uh, all, all the hollows that are up there, and then it gives you all the souls. So essentially... As soon as that happens, you just run down these stairs, go on the ladder, uh, hold down the button, and go all the way down. And, ooh, I'm about to die. That would not be good. Then rest of the bonfire, and then you got yourself some good souls. So let me see if I can level up yet. Uh, strength. I believe it said I needed to get to 16. So let's demonstrate what humanity does. Um, we will go here and then humanity. So essentially what you're going to do or what you want to do in order to do this thing called kindling the bonfire is you're going to want to use one humanity. Click use item. So then essentially go up to the bonfire. Do reverse hollowing, which essentially turns you into a human. Because uh, if you don't know, when you first start out in Dark Souls, you are actually dead. Uh... So now I am a human, and if I want to kindle the bonfire, which essentially gives me double Estus flasks, then I'm going to do use another humanity. Then I'm going to do rest of bonfire, and hit kindle. Then yes, and then I'm going to do that. And as you can see, I now gain 10 Estus flasks every single time that I go to this bonfire. And you might be able to tell that the flame of the bonfire got a tiny bit bigger. So I'm going to rest there again, and I will keep my uh, human form uh, until I die. Okay, I now have enough souls to level up, so let's go to strength, and then hit OK. And now I'm at strength 16. So, let's go here, and equip the Drake Sword. So, I'm going to show you guys how this sword works. Um, we're going to go see how it does against some enemies in comparison to the other enemies watch this one hit kill it's the one hit wonder see it's just awesome this is a super good uh start starting game weapon if you don't want to go through the hassle of well essentially dark souls there it is so now the rats are coming up again. Let's 
somehow I didn't hit that. What the heck? This is so dumb. Okay. Hopefully I don't get poisoned here. I'm just gonna try to shimmy my way over here. I just really don't want to get poisoned. Because if I get poisoned, then the run is pretty much over. Get it. And then... Get him. Nice. Okay. And now there's going to be another rat in here that I'm just going to try and run past. So, run. Just slip on by. There he is. He's going to try and bite you, but as long as you're quick enough, you should be good. So now there's going to be a tower right here. I would not rec I would not advise going up that tower because there's another black knight in it, as I mentioned earlier. So I wouldn't go up there uh, quite yet, but we will be coming back there soon. So we're just going to kill off this guy and we're going to try and lure some of these undead over here. So you're not going to want to try and kill the boar quite yet. We're just going to try and get some of these uh, sing singular undeads over. So I'm going to get this guy over here, have a pit, and then I'm going to hit him while he's down. Alright, so now we can get this guy as soon as he comes over here. There it is. Okay, so now I think I'm going to have to go for this boar. Alright, it's coming for me. So it's not going to be able to hit me in here, and I'm not going to be able to hit it because of its metal helmet. So I'm just going to try and hit its side right there. Okay, no, actually only one more, I think. And hit it in the leg, and there it is. So this guy, I think, has a 50% chance of dropping his helmet. Unfortunately, I did not get lucky. Um, if I'd gotten his helmet, that actually would have been pretty good, but unfortunately, I did not. So, we will continue on. Just gonna slash that guy. And then we can head on down here. So, this is an ambush, essentially. So, we're gonna wait for that guy to go over there. And then there's gonna be a few people around the sides. him down and then there is the last guy who ran up here the ladder over here this can blend in very easily so just be aware that it's there continue on and there is the exit so it's gonna be a fog door and just traverse all right so this part is kind of tricky but the way that we want to go is here. So there's gonna, there's these guys called the Boulder Knights. This is a Boulder Knight. He's pretty difficult for starting out. Um, but you, you should have like a two hit kill on him, I believe. Yeah, two hit kill. Two or three. Oh, he, ooh, that's, that's not good damage. That is not good damage at all. Block that nearly. Okay, that was a bad hit. And got him, nice. Okay, so just be warned, those guys can parry you and get a stab in on you, so just be warned. Um, now this is a night shield that we just got. This is going to be the best shield that you have for a while, so um, it's a pretty good shield. Going to be the best that you have for a while, uh, so we're going to continue on this way. I believe that we're going up this staircase next. And there's going to be an enemy right over there. So you're going to want to take him out first. As soon as he just cooperates. Got him. Alright, next. Um, this part's a bit tricky. Because there's an enemy on this side and an enemy on that side. So you're only going to try and get that. Guys, attention. Come here. Okay, no, the boulder knight's coming in first. So there's a boulder knight, and then there's also the other guy. So it's, it's a bit of a tricky spot to be at. Okay. 
These guys are really annoying because they're super jumpy. Got him. Right when he was drinking. Okay, and then this guy should be a one hit. As soon as he cooperates. And there it is. Um, then there's nothing over there. And now, we are at the Gargoyle Bell Tower. So you're going to want to head over here first. And before you even look at these guys, just run past them. And head into here, because there's actually a bonfire over in this area. So just run as far as you can before your stamina runs out. As you can see, we hear uh, someone known as Andre the Blacksmith. So right down here, we see a bonfire. Then... In the next episode, we're going to be talking to Andre the Blacksmith. So, going to rest at the bonfire. And, uh, guys, this is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, please do slap a like. And uh, that would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, please do let me know. And if you don't like this, then uh, please let me know what you would like to see instead. Um, I'll see you later.